then we tearing down this place. Tonight, WWN Proving Ground, Brian Atomic goes against the debuting young bull, Baby Keith. Seriously. This is the guy you guys bring in to the most atomic superstar here at Proving Ground. Well, let's get this straight. I'm in the opening match today, but it doesn't matter if I'm the opener. The third match on the card, Brian Atomic is always the main event. Because I am a main event player. But most importantly, I am Atomic. Hey, it's your boy, the kid, the young bull, baby Keith, debuting here at Proving Ground against Brian Atomic. And I can't wait to show you all that I am the highest in the room, soaring through the sky, because the kid has wings. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ambassador of the World Wrestling Network, Trevin Adams. And today, I have a very special guest here for this special match from WWE Improving Ground, the one, the only, excitable Dave Foster. How's it going, Trevin? So happy to be here, Proving Ground. Uh, Brian Atomic had quite some uh, charged words heading into his match at Proving Ground. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Dave. I definitely think Atomic. Coming in with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder most recently, though an impressive showing, still a loss against Gus Bunny De La Vega here on WWE Improving Ground. If I'm Brian Atomic, I'm looking to right that ship. But for those of you not familiar with Dave Foster, check out WWE Grindhouse Season 1, Episode 3, and you will see Mr. Foster interviewing many of the great talents in that event in the backstage. Available as part of your club WWE subscription at WWNlive.com. background on, on Mr. Keith here, and musician, no kidding, makes his own music, performs all over the state of Florida, and of course tonight getting an opportunity to perform in the ring as an athlete, but always cool when you meet somebody that's also a musician on top of it. And that's the great thing about professional wrestling, it is a mix of art, of, of physical competition, it's that perfect blend that is kind of suited for everybody. Of course, our official in this matchup, your first American boyfriend, Billy Grace. I'll have to explain that to you. He was my first American boyfriend? No, no, no that's his name. I'll have to explain that to you later. Oh. So not surprisingly, Atomic already showing his disdain for the official and just people in general. You heard the chip on the shoulder. You brought it up yourself. So to me, I really feel like this is a bit of do or die for Brian Atomic. You want to right the ship. You want to head back towards wins and... You're facing a guy debuting who, if I'm Baby Keith, I want to impress WWE officials. This is my opportunity. It's Atomics to lose. And I'm sure the crowd would love to live in Baby Keith's shoes if he's able to pull off a win against Brian Atomic. I noticed the crowd didn't really uh, react favorably to Brian Atomic. They must know him around here. Oh, they sure do. And let's keep taking over Atomic and... WWE Improving Ground, it is all about that opportunity, whether you're honing your skills and bending this, oh, a handful of hair into the pin. And at least maybe Keith was able to get back, but as I was saying, Dave, you know, this is about whether you're the beginning of your career, mid-career, end of career, honing those skills, helping show what you can do in the ring, and, you know, yeah, you got the front chancery right here, but I don't know, man, I, I'm excited for, for how both of these athletes are going to show tonight. 
Absolutely. This is the first time I've been have a chance to take a look at both these athletes and already impressed with the charisma on both ends. Yeah, still in control now, risk control if you will. Young Bull Baby Keith. Little Miami 305 action right here. And I've been impressed both athletes have definitely shown some tactical patience in this one, not rushing. Absolutely. A bit surprising by Brian Atomic. Oh, miss. Yeah, and flying head scissors. Wow. Baby Keith just tosses Atomic. And a beautiful arm drag as well. And right now, Dave, it is all Young Bull. Pretty great start. And the boot to the face as well, taking down Atomic. And I think Atomic may have underestimated his opponent here. And if I'm Baby Keith, I had an opportunity to check out a lot of tape on Brian Atomic and not so much if you're Brian Atomic on Keith. So thus far, is Keith able to land on his... Oh, wait. Stopped by Atomic. And oh. Hellacious into the ropes there, Dave. Absolutely viciousness. And this is where I want to see what Brian Atomic is all about. See how that mean streak translates to inside the ropes. Well, and I, th I think that's definitely what you're going to see here is Atomic now putting the boots on Baby Keith and you will definitely see a mean streak. Just about everything that Brian Atomic does. And I got to say, love him or hate him, you got to be impressed by what Atomic can do in the ring. And again, this is that opportunity to get things going in the right direction if you're Brian Atomic. And if you're Baby Keith, you are literally looking to turn heads tonight. Pitcher perfect suplex. I'm just wondering what Brian Atomic's deal is, pinfall. What made him so angry? Who hurt Brian Atomic? We'll have to have you do a sit down interview with Brian Atomic later to see if we can get to the bottom of that, Dave, because... <laughs> I'm a bit scared, though. I don't want to. He seems pretty uh, pretty mean at this point. Yeah, anybody who walks around with a, with a gas mask, you know, there, there's some kind of doomsday prepper mindset there. I'm sure Brian Atomic thinks he's just ahead of the curve, and that's exactly what he is in this match right now. Yeah, but Baby Keith now roll up, and the pin, Ooh. but a two count only, and just when you start counting out Baby Keith, it looked like he was coming to life, but you notice Atomic putting on the brakes there, and a big slam takes down Keith. I figured that was coming eventually. So so yeah. as soon as Brian Atomic actually starts having some success in the match, every move starts with Atomic. Oh. So the Atomic Scoop Slam, Atomic Front Chancery. The Atomic Walking. Atomic Walking. He's pretty sure of himself, isn't he, Trevin? Oh, 100%. With that knee to the back now with Keith. All the weight of Atomic there, and baby Keith's... It's, Think about it. You can't breathe. You got a knee in your back. You're getting split apart. Credit to this young man that he's still in this thing. And credit to Brian Atomic for being ruthless, but also being a technician. But you see now again, signs of life from Baby Keith. Oh, but Atomic there. Inverted Atomic drop and... An actual Atomic drop. Oh, again, counter here. Credit to the young bull. Let's go, baby. Seems to have Atomic scouted, but tossed into the ropes again. And you got to think, looking at young bull, we've seen agility already on display, but caught already by Atomic heading up to the top. Pretty dangerous. Not a lot of room up there. Great crossbody into the pin. Somehow Atomic kicks out. Oh. Keith needs to capitalize on this, make a move. Beautiful elbow there, followed by that leg scissor. How about this fire from baby Keith? Now taking down Atomic into the pin. Oh, oh man, that was close. Definitely, Trevin, the closest pinfall we've had in this match so far. Baby Keith just that close. Yeah, you notice so Atomic holding on to the foot of Keith. That's one way to make a man stop. <laughs> I love this guy. Go, Baby Keith. Let's go. Yeah, Atomic's prone. What do we got here? Oh, catches Keith. Ugh. 
just when you thought, perhaps. The tide had turned. Atomic again, at least in the moment, with the answer, but is Atomic waiting too long? Keith gets out of the way. Rolling through. Is that it? Oh, oh wait, no, it's Atomic now. Not with the tights. Oh, come on. Atomic just stole this. <sighs> And you notice with that Oklahoma roll, you notice Young Bull refused to grab on the tights when he could have. Instead, it's Atomic rolling through and holding on a handful of tights. You gotta be kidding me, Dave. There are people that pay attention to the rules, and just judging from the last five to ten minutes, I've known Brian Atomic. He could take the rules and throw them in the ocean. Brian Atomic, uh, you know, showed a lot of grit. Uh, and so did Baby Keith. That was a really well executed technical wrestling match but it came down to Brian Atomic being dastardly and cheating at the end to secure the victory. But hey, he needed this win. Yeah, and unfortunately we're gonna appear from Atomic now. Again, you can hear what the WWN faithful say. Any parting thoughts, Dave Foster? They really hate this Brian Atomic guy. And I have to say, it looks like it's both ways. Brian Atomic, super impressive, back onto his winning ways. Now for Dave Foster, I'm Trevin Adams. Thanks for joining us. WWNlive.com for all things World Wrestling Network. Be there when the women of Shine Wrestling return to the Orange County Choppers Roadhouse for Shine 73 on Sunday, June 19th. Come out and see Shine Champion Ivelisse, Shine Nova Champion The Woad, Shine Tag Team Champions The Coven. Also appearing will be Santana Garrett, Renee Michelle, Amber Nova, Tracy Nix, and many more. Tickets start at $15 with special pricing for children. Doors open at 6 p.m. Do not miss Shine 73. Come see Proving Ground Live every Friday night at Richie Racquetball and Sports Club in Port Ritchie, Florida at 7 p.m. Step inside the new WWN Training Center for an experience like no other. Proving Ground is a night of fun for the whole family. Tickets are available at the door and seating is limited. Doors open at 6.30 p.m.